So here we have a Patton Robotics OneBot. The brain is the Teensy 3.2. The motherboard we're using is the PRT3 motherboard by Patton Robotics. And this, the robot is equipped with one front sensor, IR sensor, and then two side sensors, a front and a rear side. The idea here is we use those three sensors to navigate a maze like this. It's not really a maze, but you'll get the idea. So when we turn it on, it goes through a little diagnostic and tells us everything's okay, and then it starts to move around. So what it's doing is right now is it's looking at the front and side sensors. And if the front sensor gets too close, it turns to the left. There, the, the very front sensor, the front facing sensor, saw the wall, and so it turned sharply to the to the left. And then it's just meandering around the walls, simply looking at the at these two sensors here, the values of those two sensors, and based on those values it will either veer left or veer right. If one gets too far it veers one way and if the other gets too far it veers the other. I've also added a little ratio check that if the front sensor gets too far away, maybe 50% farther than the, than the rear sensor, then it's taking a turn and maybe heading into a wall and you'll see it's self-correct. So now the front sensor got a little close and it veered away. Again, the front sensor is too close and it veers away the front side sensor. And now there's no wall there, so it just is turning. The idea is that when there's no wall, or when it's too far away, then it turns in a circle. That's the same radius as the path you want the robot to take. At least that's the way I've done it. And this is on this is on the five volt regulated power. So I'm just going to turn off the, the motors here. The code is still running, but here we've got it set to five volt regulated. I don't know what it's going to do if I turn it to to battery power. But let's see. It's not calibrated for this, but let's see if it works. It's somewhat intelligent. We'll see if it's intelligent enough. So now it's much faster. It works pretty good. Not great, but it gets stuck here. Woo, all right. So even at high speeds, this is an okay algorithm. I'm not going to give you the code for this because this is um, quite quite a popular thing to have a robot navigate a maze, and I think students should spend a little time figuring that out on their own.